How's it going everybody? Today we are actually taking batteries out that we've been using in our little battery mule here. And these are some new batteries from DC House. These have been pretty good. So this is our 12 volt boat that runs a 8612 Carmen and live scope. So I have an electronics battery in it, which is this one here. This is the DC House 50 amp hour. And then the other one that's been running the trolling motor is the little bit bigger ones. And this is the other one. It's kind of a matching set. So we got the 50 amp hour in the 100 amp hour that we're going to talk about today. Double battery lineup from DC House. So DC House is a new battery company for us to take a look at. They did send these out to me to mess with. So like I mentioned, they were in the other boat running the 8612 Garmin GPS map and live scope. And then the 12 volt trolling motor that's on it. I think it's a 54 pound thrust trolling motor on it. And then that experience there, you know, I'm able to run the GPS map, which is uh, kind of a power hog, right? So about uh, 12 hours on that for the 50 amp hour battery. And then on the 100 amp hour battery, I was like 16, 17 hours. And then I just went ahead and charged it on the 100 amp hour battery for running the trolling motor. And that's like, you know, I don't have like power poles or anything on it. I'm constantly on the trolling motor it's windy today. It's always windy in the spring here in Texas. So lots and lots of runtime out of these two batteries. And what I think is unique about these, it's a little bit different. And I want to talk to you some of the, I think it's a, a little bit innovative. So let's start with a 50 amp hour. This is about a 14 pound battery. And so this is the equivalent energy of one of your deep cycle, like group 27, group 31 size lead acid batteries. And what's cool about that is it's super lightweight. One thing that's hard to get with a 50 amp hour battery is a battery tray that fits. So these are like oddball size batteries. They all are. This isn't a DCS thing. They're all oddball size batteries. And what is kind of cool is it does have mounting holes in the bottom of it. They're like number 10 or so. I'd have to measure them out. Smaller than a quarter inch for sure. Maybe even number 12s. But you know, theoretically, you can like just bolt this whole thing down to your floor, run your power to it, and you're good to go. So not since it's hard to find a battery tray, that is another option, which is which is kind of cool. It has a DC input output on the top and a type C USB C port on the top as well, which is another cool thing. So let's just say you're running this 50 amp hour battery in your John boat, small boat, your pond king, whatever, and you want to run your trolling motor or your electronics and like a GoPro. You've got a straight USB-C, well, I don't run GoPros anymore. I run uh, uh, DJI's, but you can run those in, you know, straight into that or charge your phone, right? Your Android phone, your iPhone. You got a straight USB-C connection to the battery without any kind of power port or adapter or something like that. That's pretty cool. Now we did do a battery capacity test on it and it came in at just over 54 amp hours out of it. So usable energy out of this 50 amp hour battery, I got 54 amp hours, so that's fantastic. Super lightweight, right? You pretty much know where we're at on lithium iron phosphate chemistry batteries. Just looking at some of the other specs here, make sure I don't miss anything. Charging voltage, continuous charging current 50 amps, that's 1C, and then maximum continuous discharge current of 75 amps. That's something to consider as well. So sometimes when people run, let's just say two or three of these in series for a 24 volt or a 36 volt trolling motor, if it's a 1C discharge rated battery or 50 amps, then sometimes when they run at full speed, it can kick out and trip the continuous discharge protection on some, some of the batteries. Now this one says it's a 75 amp continuous discharge rating, which is pretty good. That's 1.5 C, which means, let me kind of re-explain that. So if you have a 24 volt trolling motor and it pulls 55 amps at full speed and you have two of these, it could technically trip a 50 amp hour BMS to, to trigger over current protection. But this one is a 1.5 C, so you can run 75 amps at 24 volts. Got a plane going overhead. Anyway, that is uh, the 50 amp hour battery. Pretty impressed with it so far. Uh, also, no Bluetooth on that one. There is Bluetooth on this one. So let's talk about this one next. This is the 100 amp hour. Now this is like a group 24-ish size, but obviously it's much taller. And the reason why it is taller is because it's got a couple new whiz bangs on it that I've not seen on any of the other batteries necessarily. So it has a, and I'll show you a picture of this. It has a, just like a 
old school readout, like an LED readout of high temp, low temp, overcharge protection, over voltage protection, under voltage protection, and BMS fault. So you can just like hit this button to turn it on and it'll tell you what it's thinking. That's pretty cool. And it shows you if it's charging and what percent SOC it is. Not only do you have that, but you also have Bluetooth connectivity. It ties right to their app. You can see what's going on there as well. It also has an input output DC port that you can charge it or discharge it from that. It has a USB A, USB A output and then a USB C input output. So you should be able to take like a laptop charger if it's like a 12 volt USB C connection and run that straight into this and charge it with that. So that's pretty neat about being able to charge this thing with a couple different ways. It has M8 terminals on it. If I didn't mention it on the other battery, the 50 amp hour has M6 terminals, so a little bit smaller. And um, this one came in just at under 24 pounds. Now we did also do a capacity test on this one as well, and it came in at 103 amp hours. So for both of these are hitting over their advertised capacity. And uh, from a, you know, just running it in the other boat, no complaints, no, it runs just fine. So, so far so good on the DC house battery. I've used it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, no complaints, I've not had to reach out to their customer service or anything like that. Um, so far so good, the app's pretty good. And uh, so I will have some links down below in the description if you're interested in checking any of those out. And uh, thanks for checking out our DC house batteries. And uh, we've got some new ones coming up for you here soon. Make sure you check out this video right here and we'll see you on the next one.